What's up fam, welcome to the channel where we talk about nerd culture, geek culture, anime, manga, video games, controversial topics in nerd and geek culture, all right here on this channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm going to be seeing the Batman today. Heard a lot of good things about it. Should be interesting. So let's get into some controversial topics. This is a little controversial. And yes, it's involving my dress up darling. Before I continue, please hit the red subscribe button and welcome to the community. It's fun time. Did you hit that red subscribe button yet? Did you? I hope you did. Let's get right into it. Now this is from Bleeding Cool. My dress up darling captures our hearts but raises some concerns now i actually read through this article and i will say this mostly i would say they praise the show and for the most part they agree with us fam and i'll show you exactly what they said so it says i must admit i still feel uncomfortable when i remember there are all only high schoolers instead of college students while I do think the subject that must be explored in literature, as I did when I was younger, I do think it is a bit sexualized. What the? It's anime. It's manga. <laughs> Literally. Just about anything, I would say, it's just um, throwing out random numbers here, okay fam? I would say about 90% of anime is... Oh, sexualized. <laughs> this is not a shock to us. Isn't that right, fam? <laughs> that's right. And that's the only thing about the article I did not like, per se. Everything else praises the show. It goes on to say, That said, I completely disagree with those who keep slut-shaming Marin as a character. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause. It is, uh, what's your name? Let's see. Uh, Alejandra Bowden. Well, kudos to you. I I'm finally glad someone, uh, one of these uh, journalists, had some common sense. Ain't that right? Isn't that right? I'm going to show you some pictures from the newest episode. By the way, I'm going to show you the pictures, but please go watch the show on Crunchyroll. It's great. I actually really do enjoy the show. Added it to my Sunday watch sessions. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being confident and comfortable with your body. There's nothing wrong with having carnal feelings for your crush or a friend. It's absolutely, uh, sorry, it absolutely disgusts me how people forget how things felt when younger. Like, it is okay if you're uncomfortable with anime. Just don't go after people's confidence as a trait to slut shame. No, fam, I think this one actually gets it. She is definitely anti Twitter mutant, Twitter zombie. By the way, fam, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. So she goes on to say, also on the same subject, I have a very important subject to address the hypocrisy within the community to shame artists for specializing and the characters. Honestly, while there is some questionable fan art that makes me wonder. Can we really go after small artists yet ignore the kind of sexualization something like this offers? I would just offer one name on a growing list. Chibi Moon. Have we forgotten she aged up in the manga a couple of times? Not only adult body and all, but when evil, she even tries seducing her father. Let us not forget these little moments when going after fan art. Then they gave the show an 8 out of 10. And that, I think, is a very appropriate uh, score for the show as of now. Um, now, <laughs> here comes some of the good stuff you guys are waiting for. And what's going to trigger more people. And this is what she was talking about in regard to sexualization of characters. That is going to trigger the Twitter mutants. More... Fan service, y'all. <laughs> More fan service. Yes. Now, I think this just adds on to the story. Other than the, of course, the attractiveness of characters, this there's a reason why this is all happening in the show. I do suggest you watch the show to understand the context 
the context of the fan service of what's on your screen, fam. You're, you're gonna want to watch the show, in my honest opinion. A lot <laughs> happens in the show, which will explain all the juicy fan service that you're seeing on your screen. Now, let me ask you guys a question. What are your thoughts about the article and people finally admitting that it's okay that this fan service in this show? <laughs> Obviously, this writer is very much anti um, Twitter mutant, Twitter zombie. So it's great to see people on our side. Isn't that right, fam? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'm going to leave it right here in this picture. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the red subscribe button for more controversial news and anime, manga, nerding, geek culture, gaming, movies, and so on and so forth. You guys know the drill. Support the community by subscribing. We are very close to that 500 mark, y'all. Very close. I can feel it. We can get there really quick. If you're watching, if you enjoy my content, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Deuces.